Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. It's for Sorgatron.com. And this is Basic Sorgonomics, my uh, daily-ish show that we do here uh, with whatever thoughts and stuff that I have going on. It's Tuesday, and uh, as we established last week, um, I thought we'd stick with this and have sort of a weekly challenge, stuff that uh, I often find I need to improve on myself. And uh, stuff that maybe you do too, and maybe you can take a, the weekly challenge kind of along with me. What are you focusing on this week? Um, I know I have somebody, uh, uh, who was it? It was a Matt Cuts, I think it was, with Google that does a 30-day challenge where he tries something new for 30 days. I thought that was uh, pretty pretty tremendous. Um, but anyways, so, so last week we had the challenge of uh, getting that email out there. Um, for me, it was, hey, I had these uh, few people that I was sitting on. Uh, you know, reaching out to for whether it be for, you know, potential advertisers or, you know, getting some show started, something like that, and uh, and kind of getting that rolling. Um, and how successful was I? How successful were you? Did you did you get on that? Did you email that person? Did you say, hey, man, we got to do some coffee? Um, and uh, I did well. I, I, I put one out uh, for the advertising thing, which I'm still figuring that out, and that's very scary to me. And I have somebody that's supposed to be working on that, and I'm, I'm waiting for them to get there. Uh, you know, kind of get some material together, and, and you know, make it so we can start rolling that out. And uh, but but I, I reached out to the one that was like, you know, definitely somebody that we had been working with uh, a good bit. Uh, also sent out for uh, uh, potential interviews because I have another new project I want to start, and that turned into that that, that could turn into something cool. Um, so we're rolling with that. Um. And uh, just, you know, having fun with that. So did not get to the big one, my big white whale, uh, unfortunately, because it was just like I had nothing for them because uh, it, it had to deal with something that uh, other people I'm waiting for other people to kind of have a night germ of an idea for me to pitch. You know, it's, it's not in my wheelhouse right here. Uh, so so I, I would say we're about uh, two thirds successful on our challenge for last week. And, uh, you know, it still becomes an issue. It still becomes an issue from week to week. Um, so this week, I you know, kind of kind of an extension like that. Let me pivot this a little bit because um, I have a couple of challenges in mind here. But uh, this is uh, so I, I don't know if you guys uh, kind of do this. I. Uh, I'm, I say, I'm a big fan of getting things done. I have this big list, this big task list going on. And uh, and, and, and I have the daily things say, like, okay, remember I, I get in there. Maybe I, okay, I got, okay, did I do any, anything that needs invoice for the week? Let's make sure that it doesn't sit there for a while. Okay, is this something we could do? Sometimes I stick stuff in there that's uh, a, a spitball idea. Like I have this idea in here about doing kind of a subscription rate for people to get their uh, wrestling shows. And I'm trying to figure out how to implement that. And I, I guess I need to figure out a little bit more organization to this uh, where like the idea is that, man, if I have time to, to kind of roll with that, we can put that somewhere. Um, so for this week, you know, I, I, you know, what are those things on your list? Maybe you have a mental list and uh, a mental list like the show. No, that was a bad. It's way too early for me making those kinds of horrible jokes. Um, wasn't even funny. Let's be honest. Uh, but what are things for you to kind of check off that list? Like not this repeating stuff, but man, I've been needing to do that for a while. And, you know, I, I'm looking at this. There's a deep, well, one, I have to get one of these done because it's a DVD authoring and, and it's due this week. And it just hasn't been a priority because it's like, well, it's done. It's wrapped. I'm working on other stuff, you know, um, and, and this is in the work side of things. Uh, let's see. I'm looking down through here. Nope. Nope. All that stuff comes in tomorrow because I already delayed it. That's a problem because I go there. I look at my day and I say, well, we're never going to get into this. So I guess for the next week, week, maybe we can just call it the work week part. Uh, so for the rest of the week, so the next four days, um, and maybe you can roll it over into Monday. I don't know. And maybe you do this at work, maybe you do this on your personal, maybe you got that thing that you want to get going that's independent. And, uh, and, 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 but you've been putting off. The one big important thing um, I always found uh, back to work, Marlon Mann talks about productivity a lot. And he talks about when you have this big list of stuff, like I want to do this thing, like I want to start a restaurant, you know. You can't just have the line item, I want to start a restaurant, you know. I want to start a documentary. And I've had this list, you know, there's a certain wrestling documentary I've had in my mind for um, at least six months here. Took some first steps with it. I really got waylaid. But still, I'm not breaking it down. I'm looking at that and say, I see wrestling documentary, right? And I see it 
and every time I come across that line item as I'm going down my list, I get to it, I look at that in this hand, and I look at everything that needs to get done today or this week in this hand, and I'm like, well, this is way too much for me to fit in anywhere. But there's the littlest thing that you can do. You need to break that down to, okay, I want to do the documentary. What needs done? Okay, I need to edit this thing. Okay, what do I need to edit? I need to shoot people. I need to shoot stuff. Okay, what needs to be... Okay, I need to get people to interview. All right, well, so what do you need to do that? I got to figure out a list of people to interview. I got to figure out the story of this. I need to figure out what the goals are of this product. Um, and I'm sp speaking specifically of a documentary. And then you get down to the first thing is... All right, I got to start emailing people. Oh, well, I gotta start picking up the phone, you know, and say, "Hey, we're doing this thing. We're trying to get this together." Da 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 da. Or maybe it's even before that. It's like, well, I need a producer, you know. And that's what that was actually something that I kind of boiled down to. I'm just like, uh, and this is a side issue, but for me, it's like I'm trying to focus on my strengths, and if it's something I'm not good at, um, I'm kind of at that point where I can't just keep limping along at the things I'm not good at that are hindering the things I am good at. And so I'm trying to find people to f plug those holes. So that then comes to the determination. Can I find somebody to do these things that I'm not good at as far as putting this thing together? So, so I can collaborate and get something to, you know, get out there and start shooting interviews, start getting footage together, get some progress on this situation. Or is it, okay, let's start emailing. Let's see where this goes. You know, um, one of the things for last week, for instance, and, and I know this kind of goes hand in hand with last last week's uh, challenge, but one of them is I want to start, hey, uh, I guess I'll disclose this here. Uh, I want to start a new interview series. And it's based on uh, what we're doing for Indie Mayhem Show, how we took that and said, okay, let's do interviews with people that we know in the industry, right? And an awesome cast, a real big thing on that is it's very Pittsburgh-based, and we do have a lot of people from Alpha Lab and other startups and stuff on uh, from time to time. I had a great one with a, a wonderful lady from uh, Innovation Works a few weeks ago saying, hey, what's going on around here? And um, I want to take that and do like we did with the Indie Mayhem show where we have an interview-only show. Now, I don't know what shape that's going to take entirely yet, but I need to do something. And I had the first person on my hit list, and I emailed them last week. You know, and now, you know, we're in that conversation. And thankfully, I'm not doing it where we're doing it all on Tuesday nights like we do everything else with the show, with the, all the shows. But at least we can we can, um, you know, start that conversation. Um, I can start kind of addressing. I actually have two conversations started for interviews for that coming up. Um, and I just need to continue start poking and uh, and, and see what we'll see what comes of it. Right. Um, other conversations have started for other projects. I'm Oof, this is always the way it happens, you know. Uh, it always ebbs and flows when it comes to the freelance, and and I'll, out of nowhere, I've had not op job opportunities, but the hey, are you interested to do this thing? If we get it going in the next couple of months, so I have like four of those coming up now. Um, but yeah, we'll see which ones actually develop, and that's why I can't just say like, well, this thing is happening. No, it's not happening. Is all these are three different conversations I know. But bringing it back around, uh, the challenge was wait, which of those was the challenge? Oh, knock those things off your list. <laughs> wow, uh, this is what happens when we mix coffee and allergy medication. That's why we switched to the wonderful purple water this morning. That's awesome for the audio people. Um, but anyways, uh, no, knock those things off your list. I'm looking at a few things here, and and, and they've just chased me. And, I, and I've, I've looked at them and said, oh, we'll do it tomorrow. Oh, we'll do it tomorrow. Ah, the rest of the week is, is kibosh. We'll do it next week. And, um, and they're not things that with a specific deadline, right? Um, I'm just now getting best of 2014 DVDs going, you know, and I'm kicking myself for that. And I'm like, what have I been doing? And I know I'm busy. I have a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying to get these things um, to a point, you know, and, and grow that audience so we can do things. So, I mean, it's not like I'm, 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 I'm bored. That's one, that's one beautiful thing. I've not been bored for about five years at this point. Um, but still... I, I'm bored when I tell myself I'm not going to work and I have no idea what to do next. You know, that that kind of thing. But um, but no, knock those things off the list and uh, uh, you know, and then maybe you do need to write down the list. I think it's very handy with that that getting things done idea. You get those things out of your brain, you're more likely to come across them. We're like, okay, what needs done next? And here's the list versus stick it in your head. Like I made the mistake. I know I had a way better weekly challenge for this week. But I did not get it down anywhere. I thought I put it in, in my in my to-do list over here, right? Did not get it down. And it is gone. 
until that point where you're like, oh, that's the thing I wanted to do. And there's no way you can touch it. And it's, gonna, it's just going to be gone again. Um, one tip for that. If you have um, Siri on your phone or or uh, uh, whatever the Google equivalent is of, of, of you know, Google, Google Now and uh, and, uh, uh, you know, some note taking app, if you can take notes on your device like that through voice, because the biggest thing with me is I typically remember good things on Monday morning when I'm going to that singular client that's an hour away. Now. It didn't work for me this week because something with my Bluetooth, with the car or something made Siri just not work. And I lost good ideas. And I know I lost good ideas. Um, there was actually, I think I was listening to one show. I think they were saying that they, they, their life has changed because they put a pen and paper in the, ba- in the, in the shower. Because that's where a lot of your good ideas are, you know. I can't even do a Hey Siri. Sorry, people. Um, you know, because I'm playing music on a little dock thing. And the Hey Siri really usually doesn't work if you're playing music. Like, I can't hear it over the music that's surrounding it. So, I don't know. So, whatever method you need to, get something done this week. Get something off that list. Something that's been uh, nagging at you for a while. And it's so liberating when that does get off of your shoulders and you get to uh, move on with your life, for instance. So, let me know what you think. Uh, if you how you, Last week's challenge went for you. Uh, let, tell me about this week's. Uh, if there's anything you're targeting in particular. If you need any help figuring out what that thing is, hit, us, hit me up on Twitter. At Sorgatron, comments to this video on Sorgatron.com or on YouTube and uh, anywhere else you may be. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.